Hello everyone, Rob here, and today we're going to take a look at SoftMaker Office 2021. Now today we're going to actually be able to pull up a side-by-side -side comparison of the latest Microsoft Office right beside SoftMaker Office because I really want to drill in on essentially what we face real world, which is you receive a Microsoft Word document, you need to open it up in say SoftMaker or some other form of software other than Microsoft and you need the formatting to be proper and in place without having to go in and do a tremendous amount of rework to the document. So I want to be able to illustrate that today and SoftMaker Office 2021 does an excellent job at that. So we'll have some illustrations there. And I'm able to do this because for the first time in forever I've got a Windows system loaded up and uh, set up and running Windows 10 without getting into a lot of detail there basically there are a lot of windows subsystem for linux things on the horizon wsl2 on the horizon and i want to try those out on windows 10 as well as just kind of go back in and see what all is new on windows so we're going to take advantage of that today with the side-by-side -side comparison all right first up let's pop over to what's new within the commercial version of office 2021 we'll skim over some of this but all applications have received a powerful new research function. You can select any term in your document and look it up in a variety of online dictionaries and encyclopedias. You can also export your documents to the PDA or to the PDF slash A format for long-term preservation. There's also an enhanced version of control that allows you to travel back in time. Essentially, you can pull up multiple automatic save versions of your document. So There's also a dialog box for creating new documents. Now present are basically all the document templates with attractive preview images. You can convert auto shape objects to curves. So let's say you make a triangle, a basic triangle image, you can go in and add a curve to that. So you're expanding your design possibilities. Moving on from there, there's an improved user interface for object resizing. You also have improved hyphenation results. There's a new license model. You can now, with one license of SoftMaker Office 2021 commercial version, use that on up to five computers running Windows, Mac, or Linux. So that's Shop certainly for nice. Microsoft Office lately for, and most people are switching over to Office 365 and paying monthly, but still comparatively, if you look at these prices, you have NX Home, which is kind of their entry level for this new version. And that's 30 bucks a year, basically $2.99 per month, which is very, very reasonable. Uh, with that, you get text maker, plan maker, presentation, and basic maker and spell check in 20 languages. And next up we have NX Universal, basically 40 bucks a year or 4.99 per month you get the same text maker plan maker presentation and basic maker with a bunch of additional features so you'll read through that and figure out if that's right for you here we've got softmaker office professional a one-time purchase at 89.95 again you get the full rundown uh, with a few less features over here like advanced text style analysis um, you don't get the 2500 high quality fonts or the advanced font manager but still i think that's a screaming good deal basically 90 bucks if you compare that to what a full-on purchase of microsoft office would be uh, it's very reasonable all right now from here we're going to pop over and look at a direct side-by-side -side comparison with text maker plan maker and presentations up against microsoft and we'll see how things stack up Okay, first up we have TextMaker here on the left with a comparison against Microsoft Word here on the right. We pulled up a document that was initially a Microsoft Office formatted Word document and we pulled up that exact same document here within TextMaker. Now you're going to notice a few things off the bat, but before we get into this, I want to just point out to you how similar the interface and UI is between uh, SoftMaker Office and Microsoft Word. Uh, but nevertheless, most people who work with Office are familiar with it, they know it, they can find their way around. So to me, it makes sense that you use the same ribbon interface, easy to find your way around when you're working on your own Office product. It reduces your learning curve and allows anyone to pop right into SoftMaker Office 
and find their way around quickly. You'll notice a few little differences where you've got some color differences here in the tabbed layout. But if we want to quickly compare the two, if we go to insert in Word and insert within TextMaker, again, very, very similar. Now let's go on down to the actual document itself. And I want to point out that for the most part in TextMaker, everything's in place. And this is an excellent example. It's just a sample resume here. And it's an excellent example because you're using a photo with different font sizes, uh, with a few background images in place, as well as a few charts. Now, for the most part, the structure is absolutely identical. You may notice a few changes in font from one to the other, but they're very, very minuscule differences. You do notice some shading difference in the image here, light gray, dark gray, but for the most part, the formatting remains intact. And with that, you could edit this document, save it in a DOCX form, uh, format from TextMaker, send it to that person using Microsoft Word, and chances are they're not gonna notice any difference. They're gonna think, well, you're using Microsoft Word if they think about it at all because the formatting's going to be intact and look just the way it should. All right, so let's go from there, and next up we'll take a look at presentation versus PowerPoint. All right, so here we go. We have Microsoft PowerPoint on the right with an introduction to Linux PowerPoint slide presentation, and we have presentation on the left, and we're gonna just go through a few slides here and just point out again how well uh, presentation keeps within the format of a PowerPoint presentation, and that's what this format was originally. Again, the familiar UI here, they're again, very similar. So first up, uh, the formatting and layout of the images and everything are pretty well identical. Now there is one change here, and that's the color you get. Uh, this blue is missing here. However, the actual image itself is in place, and all of the text and everything and images are formatted the way they should be. So let's pop over here to another slide that will illustrate uh, kind of the same thing with images. And here we get a much better match, but again, right here in this lower corner, this particular blue is not showing up where this gray is. Now that could be a fairly simple change um, if you needed to change the color, but to get your point across, you know, everything else is there in basic structure. The images aren't skewed or overlapping one another or anything like that. So let's move on down here to another example. I tell you, every time I see Richard Stallman, I just think, man, get a razor. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> again, everything's laid out structure-wise as it should be. Uh, you get an actual richer font color here than you do in PowerPoint. Um, but for the most part, everything's in place, again, with the exception of that blue color that you see within PowerPoint. So I think with even a more complicated PowerPoint presentation, now you may notice that some of the transitions and things like that uh, don't come through from one to the other, but that is one of the areas of improvement for 2021 version where a lot of the transitions and everything are gonna be fully compatible with Microsoft PowerPoint. So again, job well done. Next up, we'll take a look at Microsoft Excel versus SoftMaker PlanMaker. Here we have Microsoft Excel on the right and SoftMaker Plan Maker on the left. And at first glance here, you see that the formatting of this Microsoft formatted Excel spreadsheet is all intact. But of course, Excel or Plan Maker is much more than just formatting of text and images. This is where we get into calculations and formulas. And I'll be the first to admit, I'm in no shape or form an Excel wizard. I don't use it that often. However, the few times that I have used Plan Maker, it's fulfilled every need that I had within Excel. Now, I'm gonna leave all the advanced Excel stuff. Uh, I'd love to see a review on Plan Maker from someone who is advanced within Excel slash Plan Maker to show off, show off all of the really cool high-end features and do a comparison there. So if you're listening to this video, I would love to see something like that. But first of all, let's just go over here to formulas I just want to point out how similar uh, the formula layout here. You have function, auto sum, function, auto sum, recently used, financial. Let's just pop over and take a look at financial here. 
uh, db all the way down to xn pv. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, looks like maybe a few additional uh, all the way down to yield mat. And so there's xn pv. So let's pop back over. So there may be a few things there. Uh, let's see, you've got even more functions. So there may be, it may be that they're not all listed here, but they look fairly close. Let's move over to date and time and see what, what we've got in that list. Date all the way down to year. And date all the way down to year. Maybe a few more functions over on the plan maker side. So, uh, you know, the functions are there. The layout, of course, again, in keeping with the entire SoftMaker office. So let's move on over to insert. So from here you've got uh, tables, pivot tables, insert a new sheet. Same here, tables, pivot table, picture shapes, icons. Here we have pictures, auto shapes. So get data. So we start off data in Plan Maker with sorting, filtering, external references, transpose. And so I think that you're going to find most of the major functions are going to be in place. Are you going to find some things in Plan Maker, maybe that you use all the time that don't exist in Excel? My guess is you will. But I think for the average individual who uses Excel spreadsheets for, you know, what most people use Excel for, I think it's going to be plenty full featured enough. Uh, again, in my own personal use case scenario, it's done everything I've ever needed it to do. Um, but I'm sure at some point, or perhaps someone watching this video now, has this advanced feature that they use in Microsoft Excel that isn't available. Uh, so you know, feel free to post what that is. But for the average individual with Excel, I think you're getting a very full featured uh, piece of software here within Plan Maker. All right, let's move on to the next segment where we'll take a look at some of the theming and settings and various options of SoftMaker Office.